Using the sample superstore data, compute the percent growth in sales between June 2017 and June 2020. So uh, you can see that I've already connected the orders table of the sample superstore data. And there are two ways I can answer this question. I can say that uh, there's the easiest way and uh, the difficult way. So let me begin with a difficult way of answering this question, whereby in this case, I'm going to create uh, a tableau calculation. And let's just call it uh, sales. Uh, in this case, for June uh, 2017. And I'm going to use this calculation. I'm going to say if the month uh, of the order date is equal to 6 because 6 stands for June and the year of the order date uh, is equals 2017 then in that case I want tablet to return sales and then we have to end the computation so this calculation will be returning the sales for June the year 2017 so let me click OK and I'm going to duplicate this calculation simply to create um, the computation for sales for June, uh, the year 2020. So let me just edit this one to read uh, sales for June 2020. And I'm simply going to change this value from 2017 to 2020. So this calculation will be returning the sales for June 2020. Uh, let me just expand it so you can see it. Uh, this is the calculation. And now let's compute uh, the percent change by simply creating another calculation. Uh, I'm going to call it percent uh, change. Whereby in this case, we're simply going to take, uh, let me just say x1 uh, minus, let's say x0 uh, zero divided by uh, x0. Zero. So this is the computation that we're going to use. And let's compute it. I'm simply going to take the sum of the cells generated in the year 2020, and I'm going to subtract uh, the sum of the cells generated in the year 2017. So let me uh, add bracket so that this computation can be executed first. And then I'm going to divide the results by the sum of the cells generated in the year 2017. That's why you can see I'm saying uh, we're taking x1 minus x0 divided by x0. So this calculation will be returning the percent change between the two years. And let's add it to the view. I'm going to drag it to the text here. And let's format it uh, to percent. So right click on this computation, go to format. And under pane, come to numbers, percent. And now you can be able to see that the percent change between June 2017 and June 2028 uh, in sales is 53.1%. So that's what I'm calling the difficult way of computing uh, this percent change. The easiest way to compute this percent change uh, is simply, I'm going to drag, uh, in this case, uh, the order date to the columns, and again, drag order date to the rows. Um, let me change this one to uh, the level of detail to month so that I can be able to see the year and the different months. Let me add cells to the text so you can be able to see the cells generated in a certain month in, uh, in a specific year. And now what we're going to do is simply we're going to add a quick table calculation. So come to here, sum of cells, add a quick table calculation. In this case, it will be percent difference whereby tablet will be computing the percent difference relative to the previous value. So basically that's how you can be able to see the year 2017, there's nothing because there are no values for the year 2016 to compare with. And what we are supposed to do here is simply to, uh, we need to configure how this percent difference is computed by simply coming here to sum of cells. And we're going to set, uh, come to relative to, whereby we're going to set this percent difference to be computed relative to the first value, whereby all these values will be computed relative to the year 2017. And that's where you can be able to see the year 2017, we're getting zeros because you're simply comparing the values for the year 2017 uh, with the same values. 
And now you can be able to see uh, how year 2018 compares to the values for the year 2017, how the year 2019 compares to the values for the year 2017. And now you can be able to see uh, the percent change uh, for the sales between uh, June 2017 and June 2020 uh, is exactly 53.1% uh, because uh, the values for the year 2020 are being compared to the values for the year 2017. Uh, let me just try to format this one to two decimal place. Come here. Good format. Change this one to percent, two decimal places. And now you can be able to see the percent change between June 2017 and June 2020 is 53.1%, which is uh, similar to what we got from the previous competition. But uh, I know you can agree with me that the second option is quite uh, straightforward and easy to do. And basically, that's how you could have answered that question. Thanks, everyone.